Shoot one. Alors, on so it's 11 p.m. on 10th of April 2016, and I'm checking the weather forecast. I book tomorrow off work. Plan is to do the Dromocto stage of National Cycle Route 7, so that's going to be Blair Athol to Newton Moor. And I'm checking it's still worth that day off work. No obvious bad weather on the way. There are plenty of warning signs uh, about the height, unpredictable weather, 30k without food, etc. So, to show due respect to the terrain, it's probably a good idea to pop in a few extras into your bag for this stage. Back to the forecast, centering in on Dalwhinnie, it seems pretty good up to early afternoon and then clouding over a bit. No rain or snow forecast, maybe a wee bit windy from the east and northeast. So to get the best of the day, it's an early rise tomorrow to get up the road. So it's good night from me. No, they're for emergencies. So good morning from Blair Athol, it's a beautiful morning, uh, it was a really nice drive up, had to be up pretty early, up before dawn, saw the sunrise uh, and the mist through the pass of Killycranky on the way up. So 35 miles, 70 miles return trip, that's about as far as I've ever gone on a bike in one day, so a bit of a challenge, it's a beautiful morning. Forecast is sunny, maybe till around lunchtime, so that's why I'm starting off early. It is coming up to 10 minutes to 9. It's about just around freezing. The route up to Dromokta, uh, obviously high up, uh, but it's really not a huge climb. It's a very gradual climb up and down, so I'm not expecting any problems. It is a bit isolated, about 20 miles without any shops or shelter. So, Blair Athol to Newton Moor over Drummoctor Summit, about 35 miles each way, 70 miles round trip. Although it's the summit of Lochs and Glens North on the National Cycle Network, and the highest point on the UK Rail Network incidentally, the ascent of 320 metres from Blair Athol is only a wee bit more than the climb up from Aberfoyle on the Drummond Calendar stage, and it's nothing like as steep as that. That stage, Drummond Calendar, also has twice as much total climbing, so I'm not expecting the hill here to be any hassle. So the heights, Blair Athol 133 metre, Dromokhtar Summit 457 metre, Newton Moor 246 metres. Starting at Blair Athol, we're on the old A9 that we joined at Pitlochry. After 5 miles, we reach Calvine where that big, are you really sure, warning sign is that's where the path starts. And from then on, you are traffic free for 18 miles on a mixture of old A9, complete with cat's eyes and narrower cycle track. The route stays close to the railway and the River Gary on the left and the new A9 on the right most of the way up to Dromokhtar. That new A9 is sometimes uncomfortably close. The cycle track is sometimes nothing more than a pavement at the side of the thunderingly busy A9, sometimes without even a wire rope crash barrier. At Dromokhtar, the River Gary takes a left into Loch Gary and the River Troom begins as it then winds north down towards the Spey. The traffic free part of the path ends at the Winnie and then it's one of General Wade's military roads to Newton Moor. This is a really nice section, and although not traffic free, it's very quiet, with good visibility. That's another way of saying pretty treeless and bleak if the weather closes in. There's a surprise uphill a couple of miles along it, no big deal, it's just a surprise after all the downhill from Dromokta. There are old milestones on the military road that count you down into Newton Moor, and that's about the only distance signage I notice northbound, which is a pity, given this is such a long and isolated route. Surface quality, generally good, but some of the tarmac is a bit crumbly and there's some lumpy gravel in places too. Road bike, just about okay, but be careful. The first six miles are along this road and then we start the cycle path. So we're going to take a right here. Speeding fairly gradual uphill. A little steeper just now. Roar. Right, 
just going to take a very small diversion. This is Calvin, by the way, five miles in. Just going to take a small diversion down to the double bridges down here. Very picturesque. Just up from the bridges, here comes the big scary sign. <laughs> so, how long does it normally take you to Inverness? Uh, it takes me today. Yeah. Uh, I hope so, less than 10 hours. Less than 10 hours? Uh, I hope so. Not bad. Depends, I have everything with me. Uh -huh. with me yeah. So I don't have to stop in well, this so I've, just... got, I've got more on the back than I usually have. So. <laughs> I used to do, you know, maybe most weekends I did uh -huh. maybe 40 miles, something like that. But I wanted then to do some of the long distance paths. Yeah. <laughs> well, great so view. you've never done it before, this one? First time, first time. Yeah, yeah first lucky, time. really lucky because you can get rain on the top. It's the River Gary. We really, we, we follow the river all the way up to Dromochter, yeah. Yep. A bit close to the A9 here for my liking, just a thin fence. Getting pretty close to Dromochter though. This is the watershed, so from here, the rivers go north, yeah. That, that one goes south, yeah, that one goes south into the Tay, and then the next one, as it Troom, goes north into the Spey. So, we're getting pretty close to the Mokter now, refueled by Peter's strudel. Oh, Gary. Hello, doggy. You chase me? <laughs> it's a bit bumpy here. This is the roughest stretch so far. <laughs> 300 meters climb from where Athol. Really? Yeah. So from the start or from 100 something? It's about 120, 130. Ah. I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to get across the, the road, it's too busy. But this is Dromokhtar. Dromokhtar Summit in the A9. Welcome to the Highlands. Good. Coming up to the Winnie. And it's Kieran Gorms up ahead. So we're onto the road here through the Winnie. There's quite a headwind as we start to head east. So, just through Dalwini, just past the distillery, and then we take a right back on to one of those General Wade's military roads. There's a very, very strong headwind now coming from the east as we're bent round. Past a milestone that said seven miles to Newton Moor. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, nice 
lovely surface. Lovely surface. It's fairly close to the more now. A few small uphills. Slight hills, I'm feeling a bit tough in the legs now. Chasing you since not winning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I thought I'd get some pictures. So this is Newton Moore. Thank you. That's it. Final destination, Okay, so here we are at Newton Moor. Um, this says 35.81 miles and it's 20 minutes past 12. Can you see that? All right, bye bye. Of course, it is uphill now. That's about 16 miles to Dromokta. It's not an obvious sign, but it is this way. Six miles to Dalwini. I think I'll take a stop at Dalwini. <laughs> That's the same guy, same guy we bumped into on the way here. The wind is with me just now, which is good. Uh, the wind is so strong that it just blew my camera over on the tripod. That'll be the outtakes. <laughs> Toasty at the Toll House Cafe, which is very nice. Time to head on to Dromochta. Alright, it's starting to look a bit, bit heavy cloud-wise. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a bit of rain. Oh, really some very interesting clouds over there. Okay, so you can see that, 10 minutes to 2. Uh, about 24 miles to go. Hopefully I can get back in about 2 hours. Back by about 10 to 4, that's the plan. If I don't stop and do too many pictures, but the weather's closing in, so I think speed is of the essence now. Uh, I don't want to have to put my jacket on. I don't want to get caught in snow or rain. It's probably not quite cold enough for snow, but still, it's going to get wet. So, let's go. Started to rain. Ah, first rain on any of these trips. Cycle path to put walkery. Yes, as it says, weather conditions can deteriorate. It looks like the weather conditions are deteriorating today now. No food or shelter for 30k. So 80 miles to Calvin, that makes it about 22, 23 to Blair Athol. Yep. October to May and it's April. Oh well. Well, the GPS run fantastic. It's just said it's 50 miles, five hours, 20 minutes. Now, this is a nice section. Lovely wide road. Obviously, the old A9 with the cat's eyes still on the road. Downhill almost really, so we're getting pretty close to Dromopta now. It's a section. Very close to the A9, no barrier. Watch out for the gravel. <laughs> hey, back is the Mokta. Started 
to do hill streets dude. It's definitely getting cool. So I think the the time has come for Strudel 2, the sequel to the Strudel. It's the same place as Strudel 1. It's got a bit flat. Uh, it's got very flat. Uh, right, it's hard to tell actually what part is the strudel and what part is my whole wheat roll. Mmm, uh, that is strudel. Thank you very much, Peter. Much appreciated. of the track. Yes. Good. Well, the rain stayed off. And the sun's coming out again. Fantastic day. Absolutely fantastic. And the time is Back to the forecast, centering in on the Winnie, it seems pretty good up to early afternoon and then clouding over a bit, no rain or snow forecast, maybe a wee bit windy from the east and northeast. So it's a good night from me.